Hey there, folks! I've got an RU battle for you today against H81ABZ, who I met through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. I don't actually think he has a YouTube channel. I think that's his Smog on name. Anyway, I'm using the same RU team I always use, and he's actually using a pretty interesting RU team. I've never seen Whimsicott in RU, so I'm looking forward to uh, seeing it. So anyway, I lead off with Hatterak as he leads off with Hitmonchan. Fearing the Drain Punch, I'm going to go ahead and switch out into Tuesday, my Quillfish. Um, he expected me to switch out, I guess, into my Rotom, um, great move for me, uh, I'm gonna, you know, he's at minus one, and, uh, luckily he doesn't carry the Thunder Punch, or at least that's what I'm assuming considering he switched out, and I'm gonna be able to get off a free round of spikes, and, uh, with leftovers I'm gonna be back up to full HP, so that's great. Not gonna wanna take a Leech Seed, that's what I'm expecting here, so I go out into Gargon to block the Leech Seed, uh, he goes for the sub, uh, good move for him, good easy prediction for him, um, he now goes for the Protect. Again, um, oh, kind of weird, I figured, but uh, he sees now that I carry the Hidden Power. He probably assumes it's Hidden Power Fire, maybe Ice. And now he goes for the Encore, which I thought was a strange move at the time, um, because, you know, I'm going to break his sub. And, uh, you know, it just it just struck me as weird. But So his sub is broken. Uh, and now it makes sense, because he switches out Whimsicott into Metacham, and it wasn't so much that, you know, his Metacham could take the Hidden Power, which it really can. I mean, look at this. The Hidden Power Fire is isn't doing anything, but the reason is so that I can't go for the sleep powder on the switch. Um, so anyway, he goes for the bulk up as I switch out, and I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Leaf Storm here, and just hope that it does enough to take KO. I think I might have calped this, and indeed I do get the KO against Metacham. So that is great. That is one Pokemon down. I've gotten the first KO of the match. Um, he sends out Clefable here to, just to take the Leaf Storms and force my switch. I actually stay in. I'm not sure why. He goes ahead and goes for the T-Wave. Eh, it's okay. Uh, I've got a Cleric on this team, and so even though I'm Scarfed, I'm not really going to mind being paralyzed too much. Here we both switch. He switches out into Hitmon uh, Chan. I switch out into Hatterak. Uh, I'm... He's going to go ahead and Drain Punch me. I just wanted to set up my rocks this turn, uh, and I was like, okay, I'm fine with getting knocked down to pretty low HP. I, I have Sturdy, so it's, there's no way you could have won and KO'd. So indeed, I get my rocks up, and I'm going to switch out here. It's a fairly obvious switch. Going to go out into Tuesday, my Quillfish, get off the Intimidate. Uh, the only way that could have gone wrong for me is if he had actually carried the Thunder Punch, or, whether it, or if he'd uh, switched out. And in which case, it would have just been a double switch, and I would have just switched again the next turn. So anyway, he switches out here, goes out into Tangrowth. I actually predict this, uh, and rather than go for another round of spikes, I go for a Poison Jab. So Poison Jab does a quite a bit of damage, and I get him poisoned, so that's great. Based on the amount of damage I'm doing, I'm suspecting that this is a physical wall set, so just something to file away for future reference, um, and it's going to be great to have my um, tang Tangela against his Tangrowth, because uh, you know Tangela is... You know, carries the hidden power of fire, uh, which is a special move. Anyway, out it's not gonna, now going to come Sigilith. Uh, he uses Psycho Shift. It's a, I mean, this is a fairly standard set, but that's okay. I'm just, I was kind of expecting that. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and set up another round of spikes. Uh, he's going to go over the cosmic power here, so I'm figuring, okay, so it's cosmic power, probably stored power as well. I get off the, my third round of spikes, so now I have four levels of entry hazards up. That is going to be great, even though not all of his Pokemon take damage from entry hazards. Here, I'm going to want to switch out. I'm going to go ahead and go out into Hatterak knowing that, you know, he's, I've seen all of his attacking moves, or I, I've, I'm pretty sure he only has uh, Psycho, um, what's going to call it, Stored Power as an offensive move other than, you know, Psycho Shift. Um, here, I just wanted to phase him out because Hatterak can take um, those moves all day. Uh, yeah, here he goes for the stored power. You're gonna see it does nothing because I resist it, um, and I just don't want him, you know, doing all that damage against some of my other Pokémon. So anyway, I phase him out. Out's gonna come Poly D his Hitmonchan. Obviously, I'm going to need to switch out here. Other though, otherwise, I have to lose my uh, hat, my Steelix. Um, so anyway, he goes out into Clefable as I switch out into George the Third. That's okay for me. Um, I actually do a double switch here, thinking this is the perfect opportunity to send out maybe uh, my Audino and. And get off a bunch of get off a heal bell and a bunch of other great stuff. So I think what four of my Pokemon are status right now. So I go ahead and go for heal bell. This is the most epic heal bell. Maybe is cute cure of paralysis. Tachikoma's cure of paralysis, um, and I've got two Pokemon cured of burns. So that's great. That's a completely amazing. He goes ahead and T waves me again. 
Uh, I'm not minding the T-Wave. I mean, yeah, he can probably para-hax me at some point, but, you know, one in four chance, I'm not really concerned. Uh, here I go for the wish. Uh, I'm gonna switch out and send out Hatterak. This was a risky move. Or, wait, I think we actually might have just switched the same turn. Yeah, okay, so I'm back up to 268 HP, and I'm going to want to switch out against his Poly D, just not wanting to take the Drain Punch. I'm going to just send Tuesday back out. Tuesday is a really hard counter for this guy. So that's great. He goes for the Drain Punch, uh, isn't going to do anything, although it is going to mean he's going to regain a little bit of health, although he loses uh, pretty much the same amount with uh, Life Orb. So here I just go for the Poison Jab to get the KO, and I get the KO. His uh, Hitmonchan is down, and that's great for me. So, next out for my opponent is going to be Sigalith. Gonna switch out. Gonna send out Tachikoma. Um, and here he goes for the Psycho Shift just to get my uh, Tachikoma burn. That's great. Burn is better than Paralysis, and I'm not a physical attacker, so it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, now here I, I was considering going for the trick so I could get a Choice Scarf on that thing. Uh, now a Choice Scarf on Whimsicott actually would have been pretty great too. But instead I just go for the Volt Switch thinking either he'll switch out or uh, and give me the free switch or it'll be super effective hit. So anyway, go out into Gargon again. Um, don't think he has the Grass Whistle. Really not sure what his fourth move is. So yeah, it's Protect, um, Sub, Encore, not sure what number four is. Probably Leech Seed, that's just my guess. It's probably a straight up annoying Whimsicott. Uh, out now is going to come Sigilith. I just go for the Hidden Power Fire. Uh, it's going to do not that much, but that's really okay. Gargon is going to switch out here. I'm expecting him to do a Psycho Shift. Instead, he goes for the Roost. Uh, probably a good opportunity for him to Roost. Uh, that's okay with me. I'm going to go ahead head and he's going to go ahead and go for the cosmic power and I think I'm going to go for a wish. Um, no, I get par well, I get fully paralyzed, but I was going for the wish, I'm pretty sure. Now he gets uh, he goes ahead and goes for another cosmic power, but here's the thing. He'd actually be better off with psychic in my opinion because I'm trying to think you would have to be at well, let's see. So it has base 20 power and then plus 20 for every stat boost you get. Cosmic power doubles your stat boost twice, so yeah, okay, so uh, after two Cosmic Powers, it does more damage than Psychic, but, I mean, still, it takes a lot to set up with Sigalith. So now he's at plus three on both defenses, and um, he's going to go for the Stored Power here. Ain't going to do Jack. I'm really, you know, I'm not really fearing anything. Going to go for the Dragon Tail. Ain't going to do any damage, but I am going to phase him out. And, um, you know, Sigalith is probably going to be the number one hardest Pokemon to kill on his team, considering I don't really have too many moves that are super effective against him. I go for the Stone Age just in case he wants to bring uh, Sigalith back in, expecting me to Earthquake or something. Uh, going to go ahead and switch out here. Go out into George the Third. He's going to go for another Seismic Toss. Um, not really caring because I have the... Um, I have the slack off. I can always. I have regenerator as well. He goes ahead and goes for the T wave here. Really okay. I get fully paralyzed. Um, meh. Uh, Clevable goes for a seismic toss. Uh, you know, I'm still at over half. I go for the fire blast. The better move. Well, I was actually expecting him to switch, I guess. But the better move uh, otherwise would have been Scald because they have the same base power after stab, and Scald has 100% accuracy. Here I go for another Scald. Um, and actually I get a crit, and that crit absolutely mattered, um, as you're about to see. My, uh, my opponent's Clevable goes for the Protect, um, but he doesn't have a Wish Up or anything. Uh, I'm going to recover back up to a little bit over half, and now my opponent's going to go for the Wish, but at that range of health I'm pretty sure I can KO with Scald. I go for the Scald, and indeed I do get the KO. So that's now three KOs for me, I'm still at, I still have all six of my Pokémon. Out now is going to come Tangrowth. Uh, who gets hurt, who gets massively, massively hurt by those spikes, uh, and doesn't really care much for those stealth rocks either. Gonna go out into, uh, Gargon, gonna take the sleep powder. Um, really, I mean, it's okay. I guess I could stall him out. I don't know whether he has the hidden power fire, or ice, rather. Uh, I guess most probably do, and I think this guy's running a special set. Gonna switch out, gonna go out into my Audino. He's gonna go for the Giga Drain here. I've got pretty good special defenses, um... You know, I'm not really worried too much about that. He is poisoned. I really wish I could toxic him instead. Uh, it, you know, to poison jab is uh, really not that great on this team. Oh, he's, so he's running a mix set. He's got Earthquake. Yeah, because every time poison jab gets him out of my opponent's poisoned, 
Uh, it means that I can't get him toxic later on in the match. So anyway, uh, he's just racking up a little bit of damage with poison, but with a regenerated Pokemon, it's really not going to do me any good. Uh, I send uh, Gargon back out, uh, expecting him to leech seed. Indeed, he does. I'm not sure what's what I'm going to do here. I guess I'm just going to try to burn off sleep turns. Out now is going to come Sigalith. He was obviously expecting me to burn off sleep turns, so now I'm going to have to switch out. going to send out Tachikoma, and here I'm thinking that maybe he thinks that I don't have the trick after you know this late in the game. Here I go for the trick, show him that I have the trick, and that's great. I get his flame orb, so that's not great for me, but I'd rather him have a choice scarf uh, than me not have a flame orb. So that's great. His Sigalith is crippled, really can't do anything anymore. I send out maybe um, his Sigalith, who's locked into Roost, he's got no choice but to switch out. Out now is going to come Whimsicott, who's going to get massively, massively hurt from all those entry hazards. And uh, now my opponent actually is going to choose to run after I get off another crazy awesome heal bell. So, uh, great game, H81ABZ. So long, folks.